Hey, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up three of the most popular VPNs on the market, and they are ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. Now, the first step is to sign up and get a subscription. And in order to do that, I'll have a link for you in the description below that will take you where you need to go, and will also save you some extra money on top of that. Once you've signed up, the next thing to do is to go into your account. So in Express, it'll look something like this, and then choose the platform you want to download the application to. So you have your options over here, and then there will be an activation code here. So when you download the app, it will prompt you to enter in this activation code. So just put that in. And then once you finish the installation, you will have Express VPN ready to go on your computer. With NordVPN, it's a similar process. So if you have Nord, you're going to go over to the left side here in the downloads and download the application. And with Surfshark, you can go over here on the left side to download apps and then pick which platform or console you want to download the application to. By the way, while ExpressVPN and Nord will both have a limit on the amount of devices you can download the VPN to, with Express it will be 8 devices and with Nord it will be 10. Surfshark is the only one here that gives you an unlimited amount of devices to download the VPN to. So that means that with one subscription, you can cover all of your devices and consoles and all of those belonging to your friends and families as well. Now, once you have the application installed, the next step is going to be to make sure that you have the right protocol selected. So with ExpressVPN, you can go over here to the options and go to protocols. And the one I generally recommend is Lightweight UDP. It's going to be the fastest. And while you do have several other ones, they're generally going to be for more specific use cases or certain types of networks. But I generally go with Lightweight UDP. Of course, you always have an automatic option where the VPN will choose what it feels is the best one for you. With NordVPN, you can also go into the settings, go to connection, and I recommend choosing the Nord Links protocol. With Surfshark, the same deal. You go into the settings, VPN settings, scroll down, and by protocol, I recommend the WireGuard protocol. Two other things that are useful to know when you're setting up your VPN is going to be the split tunneling and kill switch feature. And you'll find both of those in the settings for these VPNs. And what the kill switch will basically do is disconnect your internet connection if the VPN ever drops. So if you're ever on a less secure type of network like public Wi-Fi, then having the kill switch enabled is a good idea because it will ensure that if the VPN ever stops working and you lose the protection and security that a VPN offers, you will also be disconnected from the internet and that can prevent your data or your personal information from leaking out or getting into the hands of people who would do bad things with it and the split tunneling feature is a little bit different it allows you to choose exactly what you want the vpn connected to so for example if you're going to be using a vpn for streaming content and you want to connect to a different country and to be able to access the netflix or hulu library there for example then the split tunneling feature will allow you to have one browser open with netflix and have the vpn connected to it so you can access that content but then allow everything else on your computer to not be connected to the VPN in case you're doing something else that needs to know your exact physical location. And while all three of these VPNs have all of those features and will do them all really well, my personal favorite is ExpressVPN. I find it to be the simplest and easy to use, but at the same time, it performs really well and gives really reliable and fast connection speeds. However, NordVPN has the most servers of any of these. It has 111 countries with 6,000 plus servers and also has a ton of features. So if you're somebody who's maybe a little more tech savvy and wants to really get the most out of what a VPN can offer, NordVPN might be for you. And Surfshark is the best budget option here. It's the cheapest of the three, but at the same time comes packed with a lot of premium features that you just don't generally find in a VPN at this price point. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope you found it useful. If you want full reviews for any of these three, you'll find that in the description. And there will also be those discount links that will save you some extra money in case you want to try any of them out. And all three of them have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not sure and you just want to test it out and see if you like it, you can always do that. And then if you cancel within the 30 days, you'll get your money back. Thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.